Dust Bowl, Dust Bowl, Dust Bowl. Um, well, it's a it's a map. I can say that. Um, this and it's Team Fortress Two class uh, iteration. Sorry. Um, pretty divisive. Um, though I I would say most people kind of go towards liking it. Uh, but yeah, there's some hate for these maps. Uh, maybe a bit undeserved. Um, but we're gonna be only speaking obviously about the Team Fortress Classic variation here. Which was among three maps added to the game on June 7, 2000. The other two being Epicenter and Warpath. Uh, this was the first um, sort of asymmetric... Well, not really. That's the wrong word because Hunted existed. This is the first attack-defend map officially in Team Fortress Classic. Um, and I've always, you know... I thought it was okay. It was uh, like, you know... It's very grenade-heavy in terms of people just chucking grenades into the attacking spot. Like, you know base right at the beginning which is always stupid and it gets a little bit frustrating actually trying to you know play it to win but if you're just like a lot of maps in this game i've already brought up before if you're just here to have a good time you know have some good team like you know old style fps action oh uh, yeah you can't it's not it's not bad you can't go really go wrong with any map in this game except maybe hunted <laughs> So, unfortunately, I'm a little bit stupid and, um, you know, small brain. So, I'm not really going to be able to, like, you know, actually, like, you know, give a little bit of a detailed breakdown of, like, strategies and stuff like that in this map. And, like, things you should be trying to do, like I've kind of done with the other, like, you know, maps so far. Um, what I will do is just kind of, like, you know, point out interesting things about this map. And as well as the general purpose of the map, if you've never played it, is as the attackers to take these flags... And in each of the three sections of the map, you gotta take the flag to the control point to capture that section of the map. Once you do that, you move on to the next section, and then you do that in the second area, and then we repeat in the third section. And once you do that in the third section, the map actually just ends regardless of your server rules or anything. There's also a hard 25 minute deadline that you can't change, which I think is a little bit stupid, but oh well. I won't, like I said, I'm not gonna talk too much here just because there's. Obviously, the problem is with it being asymmetrical, the strategies of, of, and like what you're going to do at specific points of the map are going to change depending on what team you're on. And I'm just a little bit too stupid and inexperienced on this map, honestly, to really have a detailed breakdown. So instead, I'm going to talk about some interesting stuff. Um, you can actually break this wall here to create a shortcut to the second area here, which is always nice. Uh... And yeah, as you'll note, you may or may or not have noticed already, this is actually one of the few maps aside from Two Fort that essentially, when it made it into Team Fortress Two, um, layout-wise, essentially the same with some very minor differences. Um, that you know, obviously, they went from a desert aesthetic to like you know that kind of actual dust bowl, like you know, like you know, kind of American look. But you know, it's basically it's the same map. So yeah, here's the first control point. I always found it amusing that once the capture point is taken, you know, someone breaks this sign down just so they can make it through this way. Like, you know, they were complete unless this, like, you know, the sign is taken down, you're completely forbidden, even with the gates down, from going this way. Unreal. Now, this is going to lead into something I'm going to show off in a bit here. But, uh, if you go through this door here... Uh, you, there's actually another, or I guess this entrance way, it's not, it's not really a door. You can actually blow another hole here. And obviously this is going to give you a nice strategic advantage because it'll put you up here. And I do believe it's one-sided, so I think only the, like, one side, like, you know, you can only go one way. So it's how you, the defenders can't use it to, like, you know, really do anything besides maybe building a sentry here, which is going to be hard. And this is going to be good because this gives you a pretty convenient way to go to try to get to the control point here. Because without that... You only have so many, like, you know, it's harder to get up here, which is a good option, so you had to go these ways. I mean, you can conch jump there, too, but even then, that's riskier than just coming this way. Stuff like that, so, you know, that, that's something. Keep that in mind, by the way. Get a nice sign there. This part is such a pain in the ass. I really think this is one of the, like, the few, like, actually really badly designed moments in any official Team Fortress Classic map. Because you're just gonna have snipers up the ass... And like you know, grenades and just not and, and probably sentries too. It's just not a good time. I don't believe that there's any debt points here, so don't go looking for them. If there is, if there is, feel free to call me, tell me that in the comments and tell me what a fucking idiot I am. Uh yeah, that's about it for the map itself. Like I said, um, I really don't want to go through all the possibilities. I'm sorry if that's what you wanted out of this video, but there's just so many different ways to go that frankly 
you need to play this map yourself and just decide what you want to do. That's how I feel about the map in Team Fortress 2 anyway, considering that's essentially the same thing. So the reason I brought up that one area with the like the debt pack in the second part of the map is that something interesting I found out while reading up the patch notes of this game is that uh, in on in the January 16th uh, patch of this game, alongside adding Ravelin as the final official map, apparently Dust Bowl, which is the one like was updated. So that's the version I was playing here, and probably most people nowadays have played is the Steam version of Dust Bowl, but. I got me curious because apparently like no other map did I, I didn't see in those patch notes once basically any other map mentions of any other map in this game being updated after it was put in. So it got me curious. So here's a little story. I actually went dug out my Half-Life and Team Fortress Classic, like the original game of the year CDs that my dad had. I installed them on this computer and these are, these would have da been dated like 2000, 2001. So every map but Ravelin was in there. So, like, you know, I I could be confident it was the old version of Dust Bowl. And Foxbot, by the way, actually has a waypoint file for Dust Bowl underscore old. So that's why I'm calling it that. And I did a, a fairly comprehensive search, both, like, spectator mode and walking around. Um, you know, obviously, maybe not Sherlock Holmes, like, you know, super, like, genius levels of searching to find out what exactly was changed. And I do believe, I do believe that the single thing... The absolute single thing that changed between versions is this part right here. You'll notice now that it's actually on the ground. You still have to blow it up, as I'll show you here. But I think this might be the only thing they changed. I looked. I really honestly looked. And I can kind of see why they do that, because it doesn't really actually add anything. Like, you blow it up and what? You just have another way to get here, which isn't really going to make that much of a difference. If you wanted to take advantage of this, you'd still have to conk jump or, like, take the stairs here. So I think that was the thinking, just to improve flow here. To add in, like, so put it on a second level and open up the hole here. To actually give the attacking team more incentive to actually do that. I swear, though, outside of that, it's, I swear to God, it is entirely the same. If someone is willing to take a more thorough look or even just remembers back in the day what's changed, I can link you the uh, BSP... Um, for Dust Bowl Old here, because I swear it's not on the internet as a single file. In fact, searching it up, I tried searching up what the difference was, and, like, no one on the internet has posted about that, outside of that patch note being on the Team Fortress Classic wiki. And if, fuck, even on the Team Fortress wiki, the official Team Fortress 2 official wiki with both Team Fortress 2 and Team Fortress Classic information, they have nothing on this. So I think I might be the first person on the internet, in the modern internet anyway, to point this out. Um, if anyone's interested, uh, tell me about it in the comments and I can maybe like add the, uh, BSP file onto like a Google drive or something. So you can go check it out further and stuff like that. But I really think that's it. So yeah, let's just play it. It's also going to make my recording interesting because I'm essentially going to have to play the map twice, both as attacker and defender, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it is quite a bit of time. Um, I only recommend, um... 16 people for this map, which some people might be shocked because usually this map is like 32 people's on it and stuff like that. But it just, it becomes such a clusterfuck with grenades and like, you know, engineers and other like heavy weapons guys. At least with 16 players, there's actually some room to move around and try to form strategies and stuff on both sides. I mean, you probably can play it with 32 people. Uh, like, you know, my, obviously some random guy like me on the internet on YouTube is not going to be dissuade uh, like the whole world from playing this with more than that. But I just feel like it's a little bit too nuts with anything more than that. Like 16, I should like stress. Well, I better be heavy weapons guy because apparently no one wants to do that. Which I don't necessarily like uh, just playing with 16 people on this map anyway because obviously it means you can't have one class even with like if every... All eight people on your team play a different class. One class is going to be, like, missing. Like, you know, it's probably just going to be Pyro, best case scenario. But still, I don't like that. That's how I felt the pro my problem with the console versions of Team Fortress Class like, 2. They only maxed at 16 people. It just felt weird. Because that meant one class was always out. Oh, well. Obviously, if you're the attackers, you, you can keep, like, these grenades to your side. That's going to be a huge boon. But I don't really need to tell you that, I think. We gotta push! Keep going! You have a job to do, and you gotta do it well. 
God. Oh, you idiot. Another slam dunk day atmosphere map, though. I keep bringing that up with Badlands uh, crossover and now this. But, you know, the whoever was the, like, you know, the lead, like, artist, like, art director on this game just nailed the lighting for these maps. I really wish I knew. Like, you know, obviously I could look up the people that worked on this game, but I don't, on the top of my head, know either who was the lead art director or who individually designed the maps and made, like, the stylistic choices. It'd be interesting to know. You don't think I didn't see that? Oh, that was sick. I do like that there's this little time remaining meter here too, but I, I really do wish there's a way to either turn this off or customize it. 25 minutes is more than enough to get through a whole round here. But the problem is, it's not like Team Fortress, like, you know, two where, like, you know, like if you turn off the time limit, you'll switch sides. So, you know, you can just keep switching sides indefinitely and stuff like that. No, the map just ends. It's like, it just goes on to the next map, so you can't even have a chance if you wanted to, like, say you were the defender and you wanted to play attacker. You can't even do that. It's goofy. I was, like, watching Foxbot and just jump around like you'd a bunch of, like, you know, like, bugs or something. It's cute. It's adorable. Alright, scout. Oh, it's up to me! I am the savior that the world needs at this moment in time. And in this place. And in this reality. And on this game. And up my ass, because my dick just got really itchy. Am I floating? Oh, wait, no. I was just... I don't know what happened. I really, really hate this part, though. Obviously, it's going to be different with Foxbot here, but yeah. One entrance, one way to go for us. Really small. Sniper towers, or like sniper areas here. Grenades, probably sentries built up there. Who fucking knows what else up there? Yeah, that's balanced. I like that. That's not annoying at all. I can see why this map drives some people crazy. Where is our flag, actually? What? No, really, where is it? What? Not there, play a hater. You gotta look somewhere else. It's one of those times I really wish we had that kind of like, you know, TF2 Left 4 Dead, like, you know, objective visible through, my, like, you know, walls thing. You know what I'm talking about. Day 25 of trying to figure out where the hell our flag is. This is absurd! Guys, what did you do with it? I'd leave you to, to do this important task and you blow it. You had one job, guys. One job. Watch the flag. Goodness gracious. I mean, that's kind of reserved, like, you know, reaffirms what I said. Or, oh, there it is. Well, maybe it despawned. It does return to, um, this starting point, um, after 30 seconds. Can we get moving, please? Oh. Well, anyway, that leads into what I was going to say earlier, that if you're just, like, wanting to play this map to kill things, or, you know, you know, just, like, you know, try out different fun, like, classes and stuff like that, you can't really go wrong with this map, but kind of like you can't really go wrong with any map in this game. I mean, usually your team members are a little bit smarter and can figure out where the hell to take the fucking flag, but you know. Well, at least if the heavy weapons guy grabs it, I, I feel the like the bot would be a little bit more willing to keep moving forward because he's chemically inclined to want to kill everything, you know, as a heavy weapons guy should be, so. You know, I, I, I have a double standard, and I believe the medic bots are smarter than the scout bots. Which is probably, provably not true at all, but you know. I'm feeling prejudiced today, I guess. Don't be afraid! Come back! You have a duty! A sacred duty! I guess maybe you just want more ammo. I have a lot of fucking medics. How many do we have? Like, three? Alright, that's not a complaint, considering how good the medic is in this game. My god, this medic is surviving everything, too. Holy shit. At least I know the flag has a high probability of actually being up here this time. Never mind, it's right behind me. I don't know anything about anything right now. Oh, here we go. Gotta carry! Okay, I just gotta... Show you my mad- Oh, you gotta build a fucking sentry, of course! Hey, well, the flag's right there. I'm gonna try to grab it. Okay, I'm gonna be smart. Until I can confirm that there's a, not a sentry over there. Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit now. Just in case some people on my other team, on my own team, start doing stuff. Because I know the sentry's still there. Yeah, see, look at that. Play is killing everyone. Man, this isn't working. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. You fool! You fool! I got you now! I'm a genius! 
Come on! Oh, these things are so durable! Yes! Yes, go! You fucker! Well, fuck you! I, I have ammo responds and you don't. I just gotta keep doing this and it'll win somehow. I don't know how, but it will. Go! Go! Yes! Go! You fucker! I believe! It what? There's another one! Alright, I'm gonna be weird. I'm gonna be sniper so that at least I can snipe away that... Hopefully snipe away that other sentry gun. And let the other team... Or my team keep grabbing the flag. That's the only hope in hell that I, with these imbeciles can win this thing. Just grab the fucking thing! Okay, good. At least they grabbed it. I think. Ha! You know, between this and crossover, like, record at the same time, I've actually been really good at Sniper tonight. And when I say really good, I mean not sh completely awful like I usually am. And then your mama just comes and spanks me hard. And we're almost out of time. Good! Good! I like it. Okay, let me just get over here. Damn! Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Man, this map would be hell. That- What the fucking point was that?! Right in the ass for being so useless. Yeah, we've lost it. It's over. We're done. Yeah, we're done! Well, if enough of these guys go through there, maybe... Like, you know, I could get across while they're focusing on someone else. Because, you know, snipers could only shoot so fast, you know? It might- this is- this is still anyone's game. It's not anyone's game. Oh my god. This is such a crappy position. What is even going on anymore? I feel like I've entered the under- other space. That was weird. That was really weird. What is even going on now? They're having like a rain dance around it. What, what unspeakable horrors have I brought onto this world? Oh, right there. Keep it alive! Fuck it! Throw caution in the wind. I'm just gonna be the scout for the last little bit. Fuck this. Yeah, well, that's a bad idea already. Yeah, just step through my own caltrops, too, because I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah. I tried so hard and got so far. In the end... It doesn't even matter. Maybe it's not. Do it. Oh, just bring it. Yeah. Oh, so good. That felt cartheric. Thirty seconds. I love how uh, the Vox says that or whatever the voice is. Oh, what the hell? 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 What? 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 The hell? What 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 the- That- What- did, What happened?! I don't know! I always like that's what they do before like, you know, the uh, blue teams capture the base. Just wall... Or like, thing. What is this? This is a monolith? What would you call this? I don't know why I'm so insistent on playing sniper all of a sudden, but I, I don't know. I was doing, by, by my standards earlier, I was actually doing really good, so I want to see if I'm actually getting better, or if I'm just convincing myself that, you know, I'm not a complete waste of ass. Couldn't tell you. Obviously, this could be a great sniper map, but I, I don't really think I need to tell you that. You probably already figured that out. I'm still going to fuck these shots up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, so far, this is actually above average for me. You fool! Don't stand still! Don't you dare build that right here! I think not! You ever, like, you know, destroyed a sentry so much that your gun is just fucking orgasming without stop? Wow, you're just as bad as I am, play Hata. Oh, what is going on, guys? I'm very... What is this? How are these shots making connections? You know, it's like, you know, Jesus taking the wheel? What is this fucking weird shit? Oh, see, now you're just giving it to me, because all I have to do is keep firing straight and I win. That's no fun. Hold on! Piss off, piss off, piss off, piss off! The amount of shots I've actually made tonight, like, I'm not even trying to brag, it's not that at all. But seriously, the amount of actual shots and kills I made a sniper tonight is so above average, like, 
I'm not kidding. I suck as sniper in any game. My aim has never been my number one priority in any FPS. It's always been like my movement abilities. Like, you know, when I play a lot of like old school FPSs that rely on like a lot of like, you know, move around and dodging enemy attacks, you know, that kind of stuff. There's another sniper on the team now, though, so I'm going to switch it up. I'm going to be medic. Infection! Oh, and they built a sentry. Of course they're going to spoil my fun. Boo! Oh, shit, they might have it. That it the heavy weapons guy's got determination in his eyes, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe they're going to take it right back to the freaking backwards again, because that's something the bots seem like doing. I don't know. I don't know. Also, wow, did they actually blow this up? Wow, I never think though thought the bots would actually do it, but yeah, there you go. I'm gonna be a dork and blow that up. Ha! I'm a mean guy. Never discount the uh, super nail gun, my friend. Yeah. Well, stop fucking moving. Fuck. See, now you get it. You stand still, even though you got full health. Dorko. Actually, speaking of Engineer, this is kind of nothing to do with uh, Team Fortress Classic here. But there's like a horror movie or something coming out. It's called Nope. And now, uh, honestly, the only thing I could think of when I heard that was Nope. Like, you know, the, T the Engineer and T Team Fortress 2 saying that. Like, how the hell does that even work? Like, is there some deeper meaning within the movie to explain why the hell it's just called Nope? Or is it just called, nope, We're like, nope, do not want. I don't get movies anymore. Hollywood sucks my anus. See, it's only play at doing that. Sometimes his health is actually low, and then sometimes it's full. It's like he just wants to be my friend, which, you know, I can oblige, but, you know, there's more important things to be doing right now than friendship and stuff like that. For the love of God, I understand that there's a sentry spot in a uh, overlooking grenade pack. Why is this such a big deal to you people? I don't know what the hell kind of bad, like, duel that was between Medic and Sniper, but okay. Okay, I think we have enough heavy weapons, guys. We have fucking five of these idiots. I mean, it's an effective strategy, but it just feels overkill.